G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an on the back wheel video. Today I'm going on an adventure ride. I'm just exploring, I'm going to try out a loop I've been uh, trialling. I'm on the CF Moto 800 MT Touring and it should be a lot of fun. So come with me, let's go on a ride. Before we get stuck in, make sure you click that subscribe button. Every subscriber helps grow the channel and create more content like this. Let's do it. So I'm in Daybro, just a bit north of Brisbane. I'm gonna head out to the tracks at Diagla National Forest up here. I'm with a couple of guys today. They're doing a run on their bikes. Just wanna come for a cruisy ride, and get a feel of things. And I just wanna explore some more tracks that I haven't before. As I said, I'm on the CF Moto. I'm just gonna keep trying this bike out, getting a good feel for it for the final review. I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's good fun. The weather has absolutely turned it on. It's a cracking day. It's cool. It's cool, 18 degrees Celsius, that is cold for me. Very cold. <laughs> but no, I've got my jacket on, uh, all zipped up and I'm nice and toasty. Just shut that. And also I'm trying out my M2R hybrid adventure helmet. This is like the fourth time I've worn it and I'm really happy with it so far. It's very nice. Oh, this is a beautiful turn, this one. Lovely. Hey, just quietly, these TKC 80s. I'm really happy with these. They're quiet on the road, smooth. I'm impressed. Uh, I don't think the rear tire is going to last long, though. I'm a bit rough on the bike, and um, I think it's going to chew out pretty quick. So I've got my heated grips on. It feels nice and toasty. Heated seats on too, so my butt's warm. So we're going to head up to the off-road section here. It's the same place I entered the other day, uh, but I'm going to just film different areas that I didn't. Should be a lot of fun. Let's do it. Beautiful section through here. So nice. So I mentioned in my first ride video that the quick shifter was playing up. Uh, I contacted CF Moto and without booking the bike in, which is tough to do when I've only got the bike for two weeks, they can't say definitely what it is. They said it could be the the sensor or it could be the ignition. It's hard to tell without booking it in. Uh, today I noticed with my boots it's a little bit low the shifter so I'm going to raise it up before I get to the off-road section and we'll see how it is there. Uh, I think that'll make a good difference. We'll see how we go. And we're off-road. Cracking conditions. A little bit of mud still around. It's nice and cool. It's great. I lifted up the lever. We'll see how that goes too. I have to say the suspension in the middle setting. I did this when the suspension was just all over the place last time. It's a lot smoother. The quick shifter is definitely improved. Now I've raised it. Definitely improved. We'll keep an eye out for the rest of the ride. I have to say, conditions are just perfect. It's a really rocky section through here. Back there it was all just rocky and it's the same here. Really good test of suspension. As soon as you ride quicker off-road than this, it's very tiring because there's nowhere to grip with your legs. I mentioned this earlier. It's now I'm more comfortable on the bike, I'm noticing it more. So you're, yeah, there's got nowhere to grip with your legs, forward or back. Would I go forward or back? So it's awkward. Get tired in the forearms and arms, which you don't want. One thing about riding in the forest like this, all the shadows. Makes it so hard to see stuff sometimes. Another thing I noticed with the CF Moto. First gear, slow speeds like this. The throttle opening is a bit fiddly. See, I'm trying to modulate it. And it's finicky. It's mainly first gear. Second seems okay. Just stuff you notice the more you ride something. And you do different terrain. Oh, the big washouts. A couple more soft weight dates probably just to iron out those little kinks. Quick shift is working. Happy to report. Quick shift is working. Change of directions on this can be a bit of a handful, like if you're caught offline a little bit. Correcting or it's not a quick process. As it never is on a 225 kilo touring bike. <laughs> nice flowy section though, just cruising. So this is the different section. I didn't get the record the other day. It's a really nice section. 
There's some erosion mounds and stuff to test out the suspension. It's good fun. Then there's a couple of hill climbs and stuff as well. And it tightens up just a little bit onto a brake, which is a cool section again. All right, this is a cool section from memory. Wah. Yeah. That's where things start to get fun. Oh, big run. Gee, she's a bit rough. This section is just great. Goes to a dead end, but it's a really good section. Bike's handling it well. I mean, it's not technical, but it's rocky and rough. First gear. Hmm, we're gonna go down here. Cross. Yeah, nice. Really rocky there. Big drop off. Second gear. First a bit finicky. It's a big bump here. Oh, not too bad. Nice. ABS has not been an issue. Not at all. In these kind of conditions, I don't think it will be. Oh, where am I going here? Right. I think it's when you get muddy. That's when it's going to hurt you. Drop off. Oh, bang, bang. That felt a bit rude, actually. Keep to the left. You can also go to the right. Yeah, nice. My, uh chin just hit the screen you can't lower it might have to get to more off-road sections oh big drop off didn't bottom out but wouldn't have been far away big hit oh the boys are leaving now and they're going up this sweet hill climb called A Break. See if we can catch up a bit. She's a bit of a handful, this bike. Can't stand it as much as the KLR. Slow in the blast, though. Jump. Loves it. No jump. Yeah. That was a big hit. Second gear. Down to first. Such a good section, this erosion mounds. Whoop. Second gear, tractoring up nicely. Down first. Hello, Tony. Oh, big rocks. Woo! Keep missing second. Woo! 
another great section. This is a break. If you're in the area, it's very fun. It's not hard, but it's got that hill climb and then these erosion mounds. <laughs> loving it, guys. See if Moto's loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, a lot of water. I mentioned it in my last ride, but second gear is so versatile. It really chugs. Testing out the uh, front. <laughs> Off the rocks. Big jump. Oh. It's a center stand making that noise. And the first just in case. ABS. In case you missed that bleep, see you next Tuesday. Sharp, left. Oh yeah, I remember this. I've been here a really long time. Oh, there we go, peeps. That was bottom. <laughs> Boom. Money human. As if I'm going to resist that. All right, mud, 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 mud. And nemesis of adventure bikes. Fucking bull! That's why I stole it. See how this bit goes. Easy. Oh, it's muddy! Up second, get some more traction. Wee! Into it! Oh, feed it, feed it, feed it! Wee! <laughs> Woo! This touring bike's getting the run for us money, isn't it? Oh, there's a warning because my. Oh, shit! Helps when I talk and concentrate sometimes. Alright, we're going to an off road section I went to the other day. But doing it in reverse should be a lot of fun. I don't really know it that well, which makes it fun. Good downhill section to the left. It's always good following people and watch their lines. ABS kicking in, not too bad. Where'd you go, Tony? That way. I will too. Blew through there, the suspension. Nice. Ah, uh, whoops. I've still got the rubber inserts in. I forgot to take them out. I believe you can take them out. 
try that at home during the week. <laughs> oh, they're hitting it, the guys. Don't have rubber mounts. <laughs> Landed in the rut. <laughs> Hang on. I'll do it too. Ah, uh, this bit's fun. Fun part. Awesome. Alright, I'm a bit nervous. Because you don't do this other people. Oh, I haven't gone up this one at all before. Up we go. You! And here. Yeah, perfect. Such a good section. Get over. Oh, hooked up then. Sorry for not talking much. I am um, just in Disneyland, to be honest. Keep my thoughts inside. <laughs> So the CF Moto, she's tiring and this kind of stuff, especially when you're riding with guys who you know how to ride like these fellas, and you're not um, hanging about, but I'm doing it all comfortably, comfortably. Oh, front washed a bit. Second gear. From very slow. Then. Oh, I'm loving this, everyone. Riding with the KDM 890 and Tenere 700. And the first. Such a good time, everyone. More off road. Oh, he held it. Loves it. He went the hard line. That's life. Oh, a bit of a downhill, yep. There we go. This would be good fun on an enduro bike. Great fun on the big bikes too. Once um, I finish with this bike, I'll do the front forks on the KLR and bring it out here. Be great to do a test 
Oh. We're going through the rut. Whoops. Oh, that's deep. Loves it. There's nothing like the smell of muddy water on a motorbike exhaust and engine. It's a unique, amazing smell. Maybe that can be um, my perfume that I create. Muddy water, dirt bike engine smell. <laughs> on the back wheel, fragrance. Yeah. Let him go so I can get more momentum. Yep. Oh. Sliding out, a bit loose. Yeah, this is my section. Sorry, I'm talking because we're creating a route and we're just telling each other which way to go as well when we stop and have a chat. There's a lot of water here today. Mud. That was deep. I was clean. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Womp. Oh, big hit. All right, everyone. This is pretty well my adventure ride done. I'm starting to head back towards Debra. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. It's fun getting exploring, just riding. Just love it and testing out the CF Moto. Uh, we'll be doing a full review on this probably in a week or two once I've finished with the bike. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a nice bike. It is a nice bike. Engine's good. Suspension's pretty good. Yeah, it is a really nice bike. If you've got any questions about the CF Moto, let me know in the comments down below or send me a message on social media and get back to you. If you haven't, click that subscribe button. I'm also uh, I've hired a graphic designer to create a new logo and everything and banner. And we'll start looking at doing some merchandise in the future and branding everything. You know, case guys want to buy some stickers or if we organize a ride I can give some stickers out and stuff like that oh this thing's it's a lot of fun it's a beautiful too through here look at it does make it challenging with the uh sort of car coming up it does make it challenging with the shadows and the trees makes it a little bit challenging at times but overall just such a good spot the ride oh skatey Out, send it. He just starts to go this thing. Very quick for the dirt. Very quick. Oh, big turkey! Alright everyone, hit that subscribe button and keep it on the back wheel. Catches.